the text form fill widget. This is the application you will have at the end. We will start by creating a variable titles, which is a list of strings. Then inside a single child scroll view, we will create the form widget. We will make sure that the auto validate mode is always. And then every time we change something inside the form, this will set state and trigger the form dot of primary focus dot context dot save. You will see later why we use this. Next inside the child of the form, we will create a column widget. The children will be a list dot generate. We will create three items and each of them will have a padding and a child column. Inside this one, we will create text form field widget, which inside will use the unsaved. This is a function that will be triggered every time we save the form. And inside we will receive the value and say if the value is not null, then the title of the current index will be equal to this value. This is why we can see the text right under at the same time as the user is writing information. After we'll create a size at box, and secondly, we will create a card widget. This one will have a padding, and the child will be a text title of the current index. And so now, every time you start to write something, this will trigger the unchange function of the form widget, which will set state and trigger the save. Once the save is triggered, this will trigger the unsaved from the text form field, which at the same time will change the value written inside the card widget. And this was the text form field widget.